Masarawa State Government sets yearly revenue target. National Judicial Council to sack Abia Chief Judge. Fathakot militant killed after gun battle with police. Welcome to the AM News at this time on Television Nigerian. I am Eunice Johnson. Governor Umaru Tanko Almakura of Nasarawa State has set a yearly revenue target of 12 billion naira for the state's internal revenue service. The governor who gave the target on Thursday in Lafia while inaugurating the chairman and members of the state revenue board urged the service to take advantage of proximity of the federal capital territory to harness the revenue sources of the state. He further charged the board to focus more on the areas of stamp duties pay ye, withholding taxes and land fees, while imploring them to collaborate with security agencies towards enforcing the revenue laws of the state. The National Judicial Council, NJC, has recommended the compulsory retirement of the suspended Chief George of Abia State, Justice Theresa Uzokwe, as well as Justice Obisike Oji, who it held was illegally appointed by Governor Okeze Ikbeazu of Abia State to take over in acting capacity. The Justice Walter Onore held NJC said it recommended Justice Uzokwe's mandatory retirement following the findings of two investigative committees it constituted to looking into petitions against her. Justice Uzokwe was suspended from office for engaging in judicial misconduct. After the break, Port Harcourt militant killed after gun battle with police. <music> Operatives of the police intelligence response team in Port Harcourt have engaged a notorious militant and sea pirate in a gun battle and fatally injured him after he attempted to evade arrest. According to police sources, Prosper David had initially embraced the federal government's amnesty program but later derailed and moved to Bayelsa State where he formed a kidnap gang. The militant kingpin has reportedly died following his injuries. And in sport, Nigeria retained her previous 52nd position in the world and 7th in Africa in the March FIFA Coca-Cola World Rankings released on Thursday. Nigeria is two points below its West African counterpart, Cameroon, which is 51st in the world ranking. The top five positions remain with Germany topping the list, while Poland, that will be against the Super Eagles in a friendly, are the only movers in the top 20, having climbed into joint sixth position alongside Spain. The next edition of the rankings will be released on April 12th this year. And on the foreign scene, President Donald Trump has threatened to withdraw U.S. troops from South Korea if he cannot get a better trade deal with Seoul. In a fundraising speech in Missouri, Trump told donors that South Korea had become rich but that American politicians never negotiated better deals. Trump reportedly said the U.S. suffers from trade deficit with South Korea with the North Americans protecting them. The president went on to argue that the United States allies care about themselves more than they care about the U.S. So far, South Korea has refused Trump's remarks. To end the news, a recap of the major stories. Nasarawa government sets yearly revenue target. National Judicial Council to sack Abia Chief George. Parakat militant killed after gun battle with police. And that's the news at this hour. But before I go, I leave you with this thought. 
Striving for success without hard work is like trying to harvest where you haven't planted. Thanks for staying tuned. I am Eunice Johnson. Enjoy the rest of your day.